2015, the City of Belmont developed a master plan that showed our vision for the future of the Faulkner Park Civic Precinct. A key part of that vision was the development of a community centre. The vision for this community centre was developed from community engagement over many years. Extensive background data and from results of the Faulkner Park Civic Precinct Survey. Belmont Hub has been many years in the making beginning with a bold vision developed by the City and Council after listening to our community, then lots of work over many years to bring this to fruition, including advocacy and lobbying for funding. And what a tremendous result. It is the highlight of the Faulkner Civic Precinct, anchoring the precinct as the centre of Belmont, creating a vibrant and active place that all members of our community can enjoy and participate in. Belmont Hub will be much more than books and museum visits. The Seniors Hub and Cafe are both located on the ground floor alongside Ruth Faulkner Library with a dedicated children's activity space, demonstration kitchen, events room, meeting rooms, as well as the library shop showcasing our local talented artists in the artist place. The Ruth Faulkner Library continues on the first floor of Belmont Hub with its digital hub, multimedia recording studio, screening room and the co-located interactive state-of-the-art Belmont Museum. Council adopted the Community Centre Business Plan in October 2017, which outlined the rationale behind delivering services through the centre. The architectural design tender for Belmont Hub was accepted by Council in April 2016, and the building construction tender was accepted in December 2017, and a two-year construction phase then followed. Belmont Hub represents a major investment on the part of the City of Belmont, to facilitate the delivery of community services and has been delivered on budget. The City is grateful to have received a $9.6 million Australian Government grant and a $3.8 million grant from Lottery West for the Community Service Providers Office Space. The City has also received a $540,000 grant from the Australian Government for state-of-the-art security systems and infrastructure and a further $196,000 grant from the Australian Government for 79 CCTV cameras. When the City undertook this project, it set out to do something distinctly different. Our intention was to develop something that would be talked about by the community and create a lot of interest. So it was important that we worked with the architect and the builder to deliver that vision. It is a building that is reflective of the ambition of the City of Belmont with its unique exterior. This architecturally striking building is a vision created by the Bollock Design Group and delivered by Pack Construction, who successfully overcame a number of challenges during the construction phase. Really it was about pushing the boundaries architecturally and coming up with ideas and concepts that probably hadn't been used in Perth before, maybe been used on the East Coast or internationally. Now the building's massive, it's a massive footprint. So it was also about breaking the building down rather than having one building that just looks holistic and the same all over. It was about breaking the building down in terms of forms and in terms of colour and in terms of material so that it didn't dominate as one singular massive structure. So all of these factors came into play. But also we wanted to come up with something that was very contemporary but accessible. We designed the building to incorporate a lot of clear glass. The idea was about permeability, seeing outside in and inside out, so that you actually felt you could access it, you wanted to access it. It was an invitation to enter the building. So we wanted to create something that was inviting. And then that permeated into these interiors that you see. We've gone for a very semi-industrial look, but really it's a casual pared back look. It looks really cool but you've still got the casual environment. I don't think people coming in here are going to feel like it's really formal and that they can't engage with the space. And I think that's really important. And that's one of the goals of this building, was to create something that wasn't of its era, so to speak, but that'll just be a little bit timeless in its um, appeal to the community over the next 20, 30, 50 years, because it'll be here for that long. Well, there's lots of challenges on this job, and, and we talk about challenges, not problems. We overcome them, so there's, um, there's the the dewatering at the start. We'd be able to dewater four million litres of water per day because the building actually sits at one metre into the water table. So if you were stood in the basement, you'd be waist deep in the water if we hadn't retained the facility. Um, that was the first challenge and we were dewatering for probably two and a half, three months. Uh, we couldn't turn the dewatering off until such time as we'd built the ground floor suspended slab. 
because in effect what, ha what would happen is the building would float. So we needed enough weight on the structure to enable the building to stay in place. Uh, one of the other challenges is the very complex facade, as you can see when you look around. Um, we've got several, probably six or seven different elements of finishing aluminium, steel, glass, shingles. Behind that is a, is a real complex steel structure. And that steel structure has got um, curved and bent pieces of steel that had to be done individually on special, specialist equipment. So then once we actually get the steel structures to site, which was, um, that had to actually be done on 3D modeling and then 3D surveyed on site to make sure millimeter perfect installation of the steel. So then all the facade elements um, fitted as we went around. Uh, we've got the gold Kingspan shingles, which is a, is a real sparkle part of the project and um, you can see it from miles around. Uh, it's the first time that these shingles have actually ever been used in Australia, but take one look at it, it's extremely rewarding and, and well worth it. Uh, we've also got um, composite aluminium panels which accentuate the curved walls. Uh, we've got metal pan sheeting again, which accentuate the, the convex and concave shapes of the building. So we work with, with artists on, on many public buildings, um, again rewarding, and especially when you find out what the art represents. I think what this building and I hope the artwork projects is actually a sense of openness and a sense of excitement and a sense of variety. Another key aspect influencing the design of the building was the sustainability. Not only was the city adamant they wanted a five-star, green-star building, it's always been a core of our practice as design for the last 25 years. But what's really interesting about it is in order to achieve that, we've used some really innovative and interesting new materials within the building and the external cladding that uh, you can see they've got the sort of the bronze gold coloured shingles well the actual material that we've used there is exceptionally high in terms of its insulation values. I am thrilled with the building and what it actually means for the city of Belmont and the wider community as it embodies a commitment to learning and innovation. Belmont Hub will really bring our community together. For anybody who thinks that a library is just a place to borrow books you are about to have your ideas challenged by Belmont Hub and the people who work within it. Belmont Hub will enable our whole community to engage with the past through the Belmont Museum and into the future with the new Ruth Faulkner Library and that's what I love about this building. It is about our past, our heritage, but also about embracing the digital future of our current and future generations. Belmont Hub is just amazing. Welcome to Belmont Hub.